Hey, break that your hoe, break that hoe, try. How are you, how about you, how are 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 you, how if you want to really call Jesus Christ, right, then you have a shy. But if you really like that consistent of the so called Negro, Latino, the Native American Indian, and those who like the Senate, the best one, so I'll try for Israel. Yeah, this is so called. So I'll try for Israel. Native American Indians, and those who are in the back of the world, tribe of Israel, due to the scattering of the nation of the four corners of the earth, the my heart and cough for the great millstone of Los Angeles camp. Back from the election, I'm not rushing down, I'm going to be edifying to the spirit of how you have my shadow shy, my shadow kakadash, the Holy Spirit. All right, so this is all. The you know, United States had deployed 12 warships in the Middle East. All right, which is better known as Eastern Asia. Okay. But technically, it's, it's in East, uh, East Asia. All right. So, it's an article. Aver um, Ram online. I uh Jewish. Article. Alright. US deployed twelve warship in the Middle East Eastern Asia. I made right in Titchen, Washington Post. Alright, the United States had deployed at least twelve warship. To the Middle East, a defense official told Washington Post amid rising tension in the region following the Israeli assassination of senior official in Hamas and Hezbollah. Right? But they, they have every right to do so. All right? The Iranian people have every right to do so to defend Israel after assassination. All right? Because that's a definitely uh, ground for war. All right. All right, the best included the aircraft carrier USS Theodore Roosevelt and its a company warship, the WASP Amphibious Ready Group, a three ship amphibious task force that includes more than 4,000 Marine and sailors. The official told the Washington Post, speaking on the condition of anonymity. Uh, the official added that the rising tension in the Middle East had not prompted the Pentagon to announce any additional deployment, but the U.S. Navy had assembled at least a dozen warships ready. Uh, uh, the U.S. Theodore Roosevelt was in the Persian Gulf on Wednesday, which sit you were at the foyer in the eastern Mediterranean where there are three amphibious ships and two destroyers according to the Washington Post. Okay. Well, it's definitely, you know, this all for to World War Three. All right, but well, these things are just built up in tension because we all know that Revelation 13 has to be made mandatory. All right, the MOTB, the RFID should be inserted into the bodies for the purpose of buying and selling and to continue uh, live 
in the beast distance. Trim towel for pure war, right? And, and mercy. All right, it's part of the gym towel. Okay. Now, who uh, made me controlled by the Edomites, right? With our chin towel. So, call white people. All right. We're one group of people that of the gym towel. All right, along with the so-called Africans, so-called Arabs, so-called Chinese, so-called Japanese, all right, so-called Africans, all right, so forth and so on. The period of war, and what war the ultimate period of war? World War Three. All right, you go to Revelation, all right, 11 to 14, get it. Second World War was passed, it was World War II, 1941 to 1945, and then the Third World coming quickly. All right, we're in the um, process of uh, the unfolding and the build up of World War III. Sorry, it will be destruction. It will be the destruction of the worldwide scale. Beat your plowshare and the poor, and your prudence and the fear. And let the weak be I am strong. Those mainly those Greek natures, like you and like, all these different weak natures. We'll put a time. <laughs> and now strong. Oh, all right, because now they have nuclear, um, nuclear, nuclear capability. Okay. Um, assemble yourself and come, all ye heathens, and gather yourself together round about to the cause thy mighty one to come down, O Lord, your heart, my soul, shine. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right, in the Hebrew, that word is Jehovah Shapat, which means the most high going to judge. All right. The how it be in the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world is really called God, all right, the Most High, named Yahweh. And it's Shabbat, that means judgment, all right, they're going to judge all the other nations, all right. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about, all right, and may concluded. Put you in the sickle, put the harvest is white, come, come get you down, for the press is full, for the fat overflow, for the wickedness is great. Multitude, multitude in the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord Yahweh shall shine near in the valley of decision. Okay. Well, they, well, they should definitely be going in for war. Including America. All right. Okay. And it's all to prepare for war. All right. Which is, they all the logistic and attention, all these things that's going on. All right. For, for the ultimate, for the uh, major property to be fulfilled with World War Three. All right, well, like I said earlier, another major policy has to be prepared first, all right, with the MOTB, all right, the implementation, all right, of the RFID chip being made mandatory, which is the MOTB being spoken of in the scriptures, okay? 